have a lecture about uh, uh, direction of play. This is a topic you have chosen. And also, uh, today actually is uh, our uh, celebration for your festival. So I heard, yeah, let's say at OSR you have reached 1,000 members. Yeah, that is awesome. So uh, this is, uh, yeah, let's say our first lecture as a celebration. I hope you gonna, uh, all gonna enjoy this. So uh, for my lecture today, I have selected something. We're gonna study something relatively seriously while we're also gonna have some fun. Okay, so when we talk about direction of play, uh, I hope you know that uh, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, no idea. Uh, but if uh, everybody is already on Discord, I can actually uh, mute the KDS the audio, but I'm not sure if uh, someone may need the KDS audio. Okay, but uh, we are good. We can continue. Are we good? Hello, can we continue? Yeah, somebody please reply to me. Yeah, I need to. Okay, we can continue. Okay, good. Yeah, so okay, good. Okay, well, let's continue. Okay, so um. Yeah, let's then we talk about direction to play. Uh, first, okay, it differs on two different types in in go games. So obviously, it depends on if it is relatively peaceful situation or it is relatively complicated situation. So there are two. And uh, when it comes to a relatively peaceful, it is relatively easy, I guess. Okay, I I will just the Directly ask. Normally, what's supposed to be the direction? I'm not gonna yeah, give an example. Yeah, this game has nothing to do with that. But normally, as your understanding, in a peaceful situation, what will be the direction to play? No, we group peaceful. Can anyone answer me? Does anyone know? Yeah, in a peaceful situation. Okay, that is in general correct. Yes. So when yeah you are relatively in a relatively peaceful yeah situation, then on the board normally the most empty area is considered as the biggest. Then you suppose normally play on the most empty area. About where exactly you wanna play? Well, of course, you will have to consider about let's say different games, different circumstances. But you're supposed to put your store on the most important, yeah, let's say on the most empty area that is normally considered as the biggest. I guess that part is relatively easy to us. So for our lecture today, I didn't really pick examples about that part because I guess to our you the most difficult part is in a relatively complicated situation. What should I do? What is my direction to play? That is actually a harder one. Yeah, and so today I have selected some, yeah, some examples about that. Okay, so, okay, we are already come to, yeah, you can see this board situation, and uh, this is actually from my own game. And uh, Black has just played this attachment. I actually want to ask, so what do you think that White should do next? Let me think a little bit. Uh, look at the whole board. Think a little bit about uh, the whole board situation. And Black has just played this uh, this attempt. How, how you probably also need to look into the local shape. And I hope I may see a few opinions before I continue. Okay. Ah, oh, you couldn't hear me. Okay. N7. Ah, okay. Okay, I heard one opinion. Somebody said N7. But okay, anyways, so here, we are in a relatively complicated situation. Can 
and then tell me what is the most important thing on the board. I ask, and I hope, yeah, let's say here, I'm asking important questions. I hope if, for example, this is your game, you are playing this game, you are capable to ask yourself this kind of question. Later, when we come to other following examples, I will just keep asking this kind of question. So what is the most important thing on the board at the moment? The center, to be accurate, I mean precisely, what is the center? If we have to measure one thing specific, what is the center? in the center. Mm. Uh, when we say why the more in uh, I'm sorry, circle of five points around the tangent. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Like top right part if he get a couple more stones. Correct. But is that the most important thing on the board? Is it possible to kill K11? Uh, if you are talking about that group, I suggest you read it. That can be a summary, but uh, you may actually read it later. Here, about what is the most important thing on the board, I don't think that is relevant. Uh, actually, I answered your question, so the answer is no. <laughs> But yeah, that is still can be a good swimming goal, and I want you to work on it later. Okay. But other than that, and I guess here top right corner can be big, but there's clearly something bigger than that, right? It's not like okay, this is big, and then that is the most important thing on board. So just like, for example, tomorrow I'm facing to an exam. Or tomorrow I'm facing to. And now there's a. Oh, no, yeah, I want to work. That is a full football team I'm rooting for for my life. Okay, but tomorrow I face one exam and I, I'm not ready for that exam yet. I need every single minute to prepare for the exam. Well, you then watch the football game, even if the football game can be big. I guess you understand me, right? Yeah, I'm just answering. So, top right corner is big, but I don't think we should be concerned about that too much at the moment. Ah, okay, we keep talking about the center, but here I think we are not really hitting anything specific. So here I still want to ask, what specifically is important in the center? No, you say what? No, you. I'm sorry, there is what? Yeah, you may say, Jeff, you know why you ask. We need to actually make this thing. Where is White Moyo? Uh, okay. We well, want to stay connected and make sure that the black doesn't invade. I have to answer here. Black already, isn't it? Yeah, that, yeah you can see here. Yeah, that's why I ask, where is white oil? H5 Sunday for white. Uh, that also refers to reading, but if that's difficult, I can ask you about this one. No, H5 is not white Sunday. In, in the game, I can't help you. You have to do it. Mm. Okay. So if black still have uh, an open. But okay. So far, I asked that question, and I don't think I heard a specific answer yet. What is the most important thing on the board? What is the most important thing in the centers? 
we need to answer this question before we move forward or before you point out any specific move. Can anyone tell me something more specific? Okay, so if that's difficult, the question. Many people here have said, in the center, what has a moyo? Can anyone tell me where exactly what moyo locate? It's just like, okay, I'm living in Finland. Where is the capital city of Finland located? Here, Helsinki. Okay, that I can tell. Can you tell me where what moyo locate? Can anyone answer me? Continue. It's closer to the upper left. Ah, okay. So here, I guess we have work to do. So basically, you have a difficulty to tell me where what moyo locate. When we talk about moyo, we say that is somewhere invadable and that is not territory yet. That is moyo. Okay. So basically. Uh, let's say, do you think black can invade? No. All right. So basically, we are talking about. Sorry. Um. This is the border of what moyo, correct? So it is just in the center. Is that right? Well, yeah, that area black can pull potential. Okay. Yeah. So here, when they say invasion, did you see that? We are, uh, now we have a big question. Probably this. Zone, let's say here, I should. This zone almost doesn't exist because one on both sides is already alive. So I will actually omit this zone. I guess here, nobody will gonna expect it because around B, white shape is already too strong, right? Yeah, so basically here, the major question is, there's an A stone there. So I'm saying either that a black invasion from A has already, and that is actually against the white moyo. Do you understand me? All right. So, yeah, okay, from this sense, okay, we should actually here conclude. This is a complicated situation, but actually, the future for A stone refers to the future of Moyo, and that is the most important thing on the board, correct? Because the is center, and what Moyo is important, and A affected that. Do you understand me? All right. Okay. Now I have my next question. I will take away those marks for now. Um. So. Uh, okay. Okay. Here, I guess you black just played that attachment. That attachment he has just played. Does it have anything to do with that? Let's say the future of that center stone. Does it have anything to do with that center stone? So is black doing anything you know, like making it stronger or maybe you're getting it weaker? Yes. You think that yeah, that helps for yeah for black that stone? How?
Making making RD for trade or connection, okay. But that request when he makes the RD. Ah, okay. I already have reduced the sound on uh, on Discord to 25% already. Do you want me to further it? My own voice, my own, I actually speak pretty soft, so pretty softly. <laughs> okay, I will probably be further away from the screen. Is it better? Okay, okay, sure. Okay, but yeah, just please remind me if uh, I'm approaching to the uh, screen again. And uh, if you, yeah, let's say if you cannot really hear me. Comfortably, yeah. Okay, I will be uh, from now on before the screen. Okay, I was. I, I, let's continue. Let's let's earlier topic. So this one we are gonna help Black Center Stone in case one answer. However, does one need to answer? If one consider. Do you understand? I guess if one doesn't answer, black might capture that stone. Maybe those stones will be hurt, but does it matter? What do you think? Not really. Okay, then I will just show you what ha what happened in my game then. Okay, in the game I was right. White play came. Okay, and in the game black play. White jump here. Black capture. And then white push here. Push. And a nobby. Okay, pretty good. Yeah, so here, what is the, the direction is this center? It is black, that center stone at L10, right next to the center. That is the most important thing on the board. Compared to that, why are those stones? Okay, earlier, yeah, that question, well, can, can I afford to lose one group but not both? I have a question to ask. First, if one both groups are captured, how many points? And black, the center stone, that Captured. How many points? That's number one. Number two. When you say, well, both how many black moves you have to spend? And then they are captured. I hope you'll notice. Black has already spent three moves just to capture one stone. Again, that's clear. So you wouldn't easily say, okay, so if one ignore those stones, those stones are just not necessarily, you'd better look into specific, look into detail, right? One one ignore, they are all dead. And second, if they are all dead, how many points is it? Everything on the goal board has a value. Yeah, some of them, let's say there's a lot of stones, but it doesn't really value much then you can let it go. But some of them, you can see this kind of L10 is just one stone. It values a lot. Okay, I hope this is clear about this example. So here, basically they're facing to black. Uh, I will go back to the origin of this uh, question. Facing to black, this challenge, yes, black want to create some RD in order to help the center stone. But if white doesn't answer, there's no army. Because white, those stones, doesn't matter much, it can die. And that is why white play in the center. Because center is a direction. That is the most important area on the board. Compared to them, those stones are small. I hope that's clear. Is it? 
Good. Okay. P7 wide could keep those stones. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry, I need to look into the question again. A weaker player would assume that this P7 wide could keep those stones and kill black. How would black respond? Ah, okay. Let's come back. Okay, now I understand you. You are saying we do this one and black card and you're gonna not be like this, correct? Ah, well, uh, there's a lot to read. It can be complicated. But let me tell this, and I, I guess you probably have this kind of experience in your life already. We say, where there's space, there's possibility. I'm here talking about go. Where there's space, there's possibility. Yeah, let's say we, I'm not sure if you have those kind of life, life experience. One single person, even in two weeks, sometimes you don't feel comfortable because it can be scary. You feel like it might be when it's all dark at night, surrounding is all. Maybe it will be from some sort of corner that I'm not watching out. There can be a ghost coming and you're gonna eat me. I'm not sure. Have you ever had? Yeah, so here, this wide center, you can see, this is a huge room, right? There's so much space everywhere. And, uh, yeah, I just give you a simple example. For example, black push, white honey, black jump. So basically, now white has this cutting point, because otherwise, if black cut there, white stones are captured. Okay? And now, for example, black coming over around here. Three six area. Uh, I will answer that question. That one from uh, Iraq. Okay. So you can see there's too much space around this area, and actually one group is not completely safe, right? And also, let's say around the center, there's so many forcing moves for black. Yeah. The, so there are the, yeah those forcing moves. It is very likely that you're gonna get high shape. You know, uh, mostly, I, I fully understand your question. Your question here is basically, you say, well, I only have those. It looks scary. What if I die? I know, let's say, players at your level worry about this. But uh, please try to think from the opposite direction. Think for, for the opponent. The opponent may what if black leaves? If black leaves, I don't have anything left. I'm saying when you are very nervous, I may die here. The opponent is actually asking. So that actually encourages not to be too, not to worry too much, but look at, look look at it roughly more objectively, and then starting from that point. You are capable to ask the question I have asked you earlier about where there's space there. There's so much space. What could be small? Exactly. Exactly. Think, yeah, let's say, because I don't, yeah, you just say that, that prevents you to think about the board objectively. Your decision is basically, this, yeah, your decision is basically driven by your mood. But we know that a good decision making is supposed not to have anything to do with your feeling, with your mood. It's completely objective. It's supposed to be. So if you just say, I'm gonna die, you cannot really be. And especially you not know, here. Many people just say, here, actually, if we are relatively objective, we're supposed to say, black center group may die. But many people, when you are playing goal, you say, I'm gonna die. It's as, as if if black center group is captured, your life is taken. It's different. Of course, we cannot afford, let's say, if you are dead. But a group is dead. It's possible once we get a good compensation. So actually, it's considerable. But when you say, here, I don't want to die. When you say, oh, you intentionally make yourself nervous. And then you cannot possibly make any decisions objectively. I hope that's clear.
So two things. First, exactly the psychological, and the second is about the goal. Please remember where there's space, there's possibility. Please think. Think over to how you're gonna manage about the space. That is why here, if one does like this, this is a, actually a suicide omission. I mean, black will live and white will likely have nothing left. I hope that's clear. Okay. The other question. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I will also, black can invade from uh, J6 area. The thing is, uh, yeah, you can see this can actually like this. If black invade, yeah, for example, from this area, for example, what I just answer, you have to you know, be sure, like this, does black have enough? If like this, black have enough, yes, you can do that. And here you can see in the game, yeah, my opponent play here, as his judgment, he doesn't have enough. I just see waiting from that J6 area. Okay, yeah, and uh, here it is. Yeah, with this I'm not, I'm reducing the space for, yeah, for the opponent and the soul to, task to live. Yeah, because here I'm basically reducing the possibility for him to live. And when I play this push, and no, I'm, I open the chest and I tell my opponent, Okay, you can hit me, <laughs> you know, because I, I'd rather close space. Okay, I guess about this example, then it's all clear. And can we move on now? Okay, good. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, and this is also, and here, okay, this, yeah, let's say, one will be a slightly harder one than the last one. Please remember, when you know, he, yeah, on this board, in general, I should play on this group, on this direction. Okay, when we are in a relatively complicated, please remember that's only first step. You would better also make some specific plan about how exactly I'm gonna behave on that group. What is the best to me? Rather than, I know I should play somewhere there. Please remember, when you say, I think I should play somewhere there, that's only a start. So here, what has just played this turn here, and after this turn, we say, what well, group on the top side has in general settled? Yeah, or yeah, let's say, what well, that group is already alive. What is the most important thing on the board? What's supposed to be black direction next? That's my question number one. Let's answer that question first. Ah, uh, let's uh, not directly jump to which move you're gonna play. Let's first say what, which group, which area is the most important thing on the board. And after that, we may actually further discuss about what is supposed to be the move. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, let's say normally working procedure, we do not directly jump to where we're gonna play. Yeah, I hope you like that you will actually have this kind of habit and in the future in your own game you'll do the same. Try to influence a lot of I don't know. Uh-huh. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I have seen a few thinking here. Uh, here, this is the first I give proverb because here I see one correct answer. Please remember, normally in the middle game, the most important issue on the board is supposed to be groups. Or in other words, I make it short. In the middle game, groups goes first. So in most of the situation, yeah, when we, it comes to the middle game, our focus is on the weak group that is not settled yet. 
Yeah, I, I specifically say weak group that is not settled yet because we know that there are some group you may say, hey, this is weak, this is not alive yet, but I don't know how to attack. You are actually saying that weak group is not that weak, or in other words, that group has in general settled, even if it is not completely alive yet. Center group have a big profit of D13. Aha. Okay, but here on this board, I guess we know what is or what are the V groups. Can we say what is the V group here? Let's talk about that first, step by step still. So what is the group here? Yeah. Yeah, correct. Yeah, perfect. So that is supposed to be our focus. Okay. What is alive in the center? What do you mean what is alive in the center? Yeah, we will say what is alive in the center? Which white is alive in the center? Mm, what well, age 13? Uh, if we are objective, that is not alive, right? <laughs> as soon as black, let's say, save that G13 stone, what is not alive? Right? I'm not saying that is a weak group. I'm saying to be objective, that is not alive yet. But that didn't really change our topic. I mean here, our focus as black is supposed to be on our own that D11 group. That is correct. Yeah, but okay, anyways, let's move on. So if you are black here, our focus is that group. What are you going to do as black in order to take care of that group? Now it comes to the specific plan. Or in other words, when we say, we should place somewhere around black that D11 group. We reach such a conclusion. As I have told you, that's only a start. Now we need something more specific in order to actually have our group, or let's say, to actually decide where exactly we're going to play. So first, let's decide what is the most important thing we know which area we should play, and then we need a concrete plan, specific plan, to decide where exactly we play. This is the procedure. Okay, so what where are you gonna play as black? And if possible, I'd like to hear a very aha. As I said, I'd like to hear a variation, not just one single move. Yeah, I have seen two suggestions, but it's just like the one or two moves. I'd like to see a variation. You may type to me a few moves as a variation, something like five moves. Black D12, H11 Nobby, D11 push from behind, H10 Nobby, and Black G9. So, uh, I'm sorry, also last move you want to jump. Okay. Okay, we we're going to talk about that, but I'd like to hear, to see another variation from someone if possible. I haven't seen D8, could you tell me a D8 variation starting from D8 from uh, Profan?
or anyone else. Yeah. Uh, okay. T12, Novi, proof from behind. Uh, J12. T12. Oh, G11 also, you build your pin, push on the honey. Cut. Novi. Okay. H11, T12, F11, Atari, F, T10, and F10. Ah. Some of the reading is not so accurate. D8, yeah, C12, C12, match, okay. C11, uh-huh. C7, okay. Hmm. Okay, I can see some variation, but I think I want to put some variation. I actually notice something is not right. Okay, I will start with the first one G12, H11, D11, hmm. H10, G9. Okay. This variation, don't you think this push and cut is actually a problem? Or actually even this cut can be a problem? Yeah, this is to the first variation I saw. This is from uh, Iraq. This looks very problematic, right? And why this is problematic? Yeah, because this jump, okay, when you play the jump, this is very much like, let's say you have a jump shape, the opponent peep you, you didn't answer. What does that mean? That means whenever the opponent push your block, two cutting points. Two cutting points. So this is very dangerous. So at least maybe you push from behind is fine, but jump is not. Okay, well, let me see the second variation. Second 12, and uh, this time it is uh, wild honey. So I'll tell from here, run it. F11, Atari, run. Uh, 11, G10, and F10. I guess you can see right here, black cannot play H10. Uh, yeah, this F10, right? Yes, this is a collapsing. <laughs> And uh, does black have the letter? Yeah, the letter doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, so D8, C12 on a block. Okay, if this can happen, I guess black is happy, but I guess the well, the first move will directly be Kama here, so to take away black base. So black wouldn't get a C11 as a base just to crack the variation. Okay. Hmm. And uh, uh, there's this one, G6, where's G6? G6, you are putting your stone at the bottom. So, but uh, yeah, G6 has nothing to do with uh, what black group anymore. Sorry. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, okay. So, I'm just saying here, I hope you notice that in your this reading, fat moves. Uh, uh, yeah, let's say in your reading, there's some error. Yeah, there's some errors in your reading. And so, reading is probably not anything easy. And uh, please remember here, after you know in general the direction, your reading needs to be accurate. I will probably show you how I did it in the game. Okay? Yeah, because it's on this group, but here, let's say black, it requires black specific plan. In the game, I play, I play the similar to the first variation. I think Yinro, uh, yeah, Yinro has showed, but okay, it's push, push, but my next move is push. I still push, but nobody. Okay? So I push that many, those pushes are lost, but here I have a, because black next move is you see what I'm doing? Yeah, 
Yeah, so basically here, this is the plant, this group is weak. And uh, there are two ways to take care of the weak group. I just defend myself. I add a stone on the weak group in order to make it strong. There's a second way. I threat white and through, uh, through uh, and the white will need to take care of himself. And then in that way, I will actually get myself stronger automatically. Yeah, so this is my plan, specific plan. So in the game, I can show you the game first. So yeah, white go down. He sacrificed one more stone there. And then here, of course, he climb. Atari, Atari, capture. Okay, white group is not alive yet. So what will need to kill, so to take care of his group. But okay, here, because black is actually attacking in order to make black himself strong. So here, black attack, keep attacking. So okay, then what still need to make his group, what keep here? What still need to make his group live? Did you see that through this attacking, Black and all those stones. We know that normally we say a group want to live, he need eyes. And how to get eyes? We normally say, for example, in the center, a part is not completed an eye, an eye. But if the opponent want to take away that eye, it's very difficult because then the opponent need to actually play on one of those shoulders, for example, in order to take away that eye. That means to give the opponent a lot of forcing moves. And so even if he may not get that eye, he will gonna get near the So normally we say in a real game, a punky shape in the center is considered already as a nine in practice. And from that sense, how to get a punky before that you need a tiger shape, right? And then how to get a tiger before that you need either go or jump. I hope here you'll notice. Two stone is a jump, right? And here there are two kosomi, right? So those are basically the material black has got. So black now has a lot of stones outside and some potential eye shape. And the next move, black shoulder here to take care of his group will reduce white moil. And actually yeah, let's say on this part, not only black take care, he has also gotten the cut and the corner. Okay, I guess from this example, you can, you, you, let's say, when we say, what is the most important area on the board in a complicated situation? We say it is normally in the middle game, it is groups. So, yeah, because in the middle game, groups goes first. Then, when we come to this situation, we know, okay, it is, should be black that D level group that need to take care of it. So we know in general where we should. But now you can see, that's only a start. Where exactly you gonna, how you gonna, yeah, how you gonna, yeah, uh, implement your plan in order to make this black group strong. Okay, that requires some specific planning and reading into it. It can't be, because I have heard from many of my students, they say, uh, okay, what is the most important thing on the board? Yeah, it's that D11 group. Yeah, that, that black group is me. Okay, how are you going to take care of it? Just to play a stone so Many of my students answer me like And my answer to them is, I'm sorry I didn't hear anything, because you didn't tell me anything. What do you mean some? You are the decision maker in the game. You must give me something specific. Just play something there. That is very irresponsible <laughs> as decision maker. You need something special. So here, you need you need to know the direction, and after the direction, you need a specific. I hope that's clear. Is that clear? Okay. Good. Okay, good. Now let's come to the next example. I think next example, because next example is no longer my game. This is from a pro game.
Okay, and so yeah, since this is a program, this is actually a slightly difficult one. And uh, now it is uh, black and as you can see, what has just connected. What is the V group on the board at the moment? I'm sorry, I directly asked this question because here no Is there any V group on the board? Can I don't see any? Doesn't matter. If you say I can't see any, then say no. Not for black. Okay? Doesn't matter. How about white? C11 slightly. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, C11, you're referring to that black group on the left. N1, not yet. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Another group. Uh, uh, H3 about to die. Ah, I think H3 about to die is uh, very accurate. <laughs> yes. That's that's more like it. H three has has been captured already. But when we talk about why the bottom, I guess you can all see what the gap. K one, what is alive, right? What about Q all? Well, this is a pro game, and actually, I can tell you both players are. Let's say kind of top row. Uh, in their game, group wouldn't easily die. If it's here, their group group can easily die. They are not pros. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we can't easily say let's kill him all. <laughs> it's, it is fun, but uh, that's not a pro game. <laughs> yeah, so here, as soon as one play K1, one group, group at the bottom is already. And we also know that in the center, what has actually a connection potential, right? So I'm saying at O5 that. Is. So what group at the bottom? Not so weak. And someone earlier mentioned C11 slightly weak. You know, uh, uh, let's say uh, when you tell yourself your own. When you tell yourself any kind of information, please make sure the information is true. Otherwise, you just give yourself intentionally some false information that actually make your judgment incorrect. That's it. Okay. So here, when you say C11 is weak, I have to ask. Then you are saying as what well, you can't talk. Yeah, you Q14, aha. Yeah, please. If you have a variation, then the white can attack that black group C. But that doesn't matter if you think. Yeah, let's say here, that's the question. Is C11 weak? If you think C11 is weak and white can, please give me a variation. Otherwise, you don't have to. Yeah, if you think we are black is strong, I don't. I'm talking about the C11 first. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Okay.
Mm. Okay. Uh, yes. So uh, here, because I have seen one variation. So profile want to do this way, huh? So to attack. What are you thinking here? Can you explain? Why do you want to do this? What are you thinking? Can I explain it? To spread the card. So basically you are saying, I play like this and I force white to cut, right? I mean, uh, sorry, yeah. As black, I play like this and I connect. Is that what you want? Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, okay, let's talk about that later. Left side, but if you, you know, here there's a problem. Let's assume if I just connect, okay? Now, what is connected? He had gained something because he wasn't connected. Now, he question is earlier you could have a cut, you fix that for him. And uh, what you get is mainly B, but you know, here there's an attire here. Did you really get anything as black? You paid something. What has connected? That's something he got. He got that one and A. You got a B in which there's C left. Did you really get any terror? And then, like this, either is the case. Yeah, this whole thing is actually a loss. <laughs> yeah, this is not a good thing. And also, you, yeah, the girl said, which left you are, you, you are talking about, because if you are talking about this group, this group probably has captured black two stones in the center. Then the one stone white can capture it any time, plus white potentially have some eye shape on the left side. Or seven, aha. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, that is actually zero, zero, zero. <laughs> okay, that's your name. Yeah, the only dumb player in the room as I can. Your, uh, your, your suggestion is actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah I would say your suggestion is pretty good, but here I will actually show what that in that game then, okay? Because you are already close to that. But before that, I will actually answer a couple of questions because here I can see two variations. Mm. P5, P4. Okay, I will see, see this one first. O5, P5, P4, K1. Uh-huh. Capture. Connect. And then you play R8. R7. R10. Ah, I see what they're doing here. Okay, this is what you want to do, but I hope you notice. Yeah, this is this, this is another deal. This is actually this push. What you did, we call it dummy cut. Dummy cut. And if I connect there, we say it's a dummy connection. What does it mean? That means I have a spend a move only to cut a white. I don't get anything else. This kind of cut or connect, you don't easily do that. Because think about it, why we are doing attack? When we say we are doing attacking because we want to actually gain all from the attack, so we say we get some benefit. That is actually the intention. But here, you have paid a move that doesn't value anything. Then, let's say, even if you say, later I'm gonna attack to gain, you actually put Burden on your shoulder, and so later, even if you attack, you gain. You need to gain more than, let's say, uh, you have a plan it because here you need to at least get this pay back. Plus, you still want to make this exchange. I have told you, it's also a payment because black could have cut there, and now you have white to connect. This is another payment. So you have paid twice through attacking white. You need to at least. That, that pay. If not, you actually lost something from that attack. Do you see the difficulty?
and there's more. So basically here, after you cut what this one, what here construct more uh, corner. So basically A B C is an A. Sorry, B C D is an A. And now what already have a line on the side. And what has that much space in the center? Do you really think here you can do that technique? I hope that's clear. At least that's a better one, yes, because we don't easily. Yeah, earlier I think zero 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 has suggested we do R seven right away. As you can see, that's a better way because he doesn't pay. Yet. Yeah. 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 You know, here attacking is an art. You wouldn't even say, "Hey, here in the big group, let's attack it." It's not that easy. You can see planning into into detail. Yeah, that is also the, for this kind of analysis pre attack. Okay, but okay. Um, let's come back. Uh, and let me see if that that is something interesting. J nine. What is J? Uh, okay. Let's say I'm sorry, profan. What well, that group as I've I mentioned, what well, that uh, uh, marked group is already alive. Uh, in, in close, a living group doesn't really value much. Yeah. Okay. But here, okay, I will actually continue from there, 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 his logic here. And I will show what has happened in the pro game. And let's try to feel it, okay? This is an example I want to show as uh, we can actually enjoy some, yeah, something pro has shown to us. This is awesome. In the game, this is black move. Yeah, that's what happened in the game. I'm not sure. Do you understand it? <laughs> okay. So here, why black is defending himself? He's defending the corner because earlier they said black doesn't defend the corner. On a what it says that our we will at the same time strike black. So here, first, the black is defending the corner. This move itself, let's say, as for black corner, functions similar to to cut at our our set. But the most important, it doesn't supply what any forcing move to help him. Yes, and now I get it. Black is threatening to. So we say when we say it is dummy cut for black. So black cut there, he spent a move, he doesn't get anything him. That is also the case for what if white connect. That's a dummy connection. Think about it, if this can happen. Black has played a move at S7, which is a big move. It values, it defends the corner and black at points. White played a dummy. No. We say normally when we say the opponent has a big group, I need to attack in order to gain, in order to benefit. Here, if what does connect here, I don't need to attack. I have gained already, right? So this kind of dummy card or dummy connection, normally, if possible, we want the opponent. We don't want to do it ourselves. Because you spend a move, you don't get it. Yeah. So here, this is the intention of black. And there, 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 I hope you can see here, it's just one and different. You are pretty, you are pretty close, but you can see here, the pro move is far more accurate. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it doesn't matter. I will just show a little bit about what happened in this game. In the game, white doesn't want to just connect there. Of course, they are both pros, I and mean, they are both so what well, doesn't want to just connect there in dummy. So in the game, yeah, since here, okay, I guess you can see what well, doesn't have the letter. If he had the letter, he would have read the letter. He doesn't have that letter anyway. So he chose to attire from here. And then, so he said, here on the left side, I to connect me. So I don't need to connect there in dummy. And my those moves, value. Okay, and now, black push. Okay, do you understand why suddenly here black chose to push in dummy?
Do you understand it? It doesn't matter if, if you don't answer, don't answer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that is true. However, the thing is, uh, multiply at k1 values. Like this one is considered kind of like dummy. Why does black want to? Yeah, here this is the thing. Okay, I will show the answer because if black push like connect here capture connect okay it is to cut and this exchange itself is a slight loss to black because that k, k that came up for some for, 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 uh, for a few but the thing is next black move will be in which this move itself also values for a few points for black on the right side which compensate black loss at the bottom at k1 already but now you can see what is the plus value. The plus value here is that the four stone as outside is free. So that's, yeah, those stones will be uh, black for the benefit. Yeah, and one wouldn't get any 14 moves. Yeah, now you can see there's only one 14 moves in the earlier variation you have shown to me left here. That's, that is unsafe. Otherwise, Okay, but that's not what happened in the, in, in the program. I will show you what happened. Yeah, what actually has prepared for this. So in the program, what batch first? This is a brilliant. Because at this moment, black can only answer here. And then white push, black cut, white connect. So that is any and you can see S5. Yeah, so black need to defend it. And now, if you want to play at A, that is enough. So A and B become me. What is our life in? So in this way, what is our life in Sydney? And so to prevent a black become too. So in the game, we want to play the game. Okay, this is the end of the local area. And after that, yeah, black with Tanuki. Yeah, yeah, this Q3 is awesome. And actually, uh, well, it didn't really spend, uh, well, almost spend no time to play Q3. Q3. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty fast. But here you can see. So, through this attacking, this is what a black get. Basically, this is what a white get. They are about even. The problem is, in the future, any time black might play here, and the full stone of white is not alive yet, that is a black slight benefit. So black making all those exchange, getting slight benefit, now he turns. Because now the full stone already becomes become relatively small. Yes, yeah, so here, okay, I hope yeah, this can be a good example for us. So he's chose, chose, he has chosen this direction to attack. Why is that? Because that, that O5, he can cut off white, but that's a dummy. Those kind of dummy cut, dummy connection, normally we want the opponent to have it if possible. And we want to play on somewhere that values. And if that can be exchanged as, we are playing somewhere that values. The opponent is forced to connection. Through the attacking, we have a gain already, even if we only made an exchange. That exchange is your attacking. I hope that's clear. Okay, if that is clear, uh, okay, I hope you don't mind that we are running a little bit more time because of two other variation I want to show you and uh, the other two can be fun. Okay, so let's it because today we are actually celebrating that we have reached 1,000 members, and so uh, it is actually a festival to us. Let's have some fun in the following variation, in the following example. Okay, yeah, all right, so let's come to the next one.
And the next one can be fun. And uh, this is actually a game I have played against the AI. This is from my own practice game. You know that. Yeah, I said, <laughs> yeah, when I do practice myself, I play against the bot sometimes. Yeah, when, I, when I'm at home, I play against the bot. And uh, this is my game against the bot. And uh, yeah, I was running. And uh, I can actually show you what happened here. Yeah, in the past few Let's say, uh, yeah, let's say here. I will start from here. Uh, black just appear here, and the right side is like that. So my decision is, I push from behind here like this, get a few semi, and then I jump. I'm saying, I get those outside move, and here, you cannot really capture my that R12 stone. So you get no point, I get those moves. For and then the consequences, I left this cut. And in the game here, I fix the cut, and I jump, we're gonna have a fight here. And in the game, don't play this jump, that is definitely a surprise. But here I read quite a bit, and I decide to came. I have a very fragile shape, he connect, I block him. Yeah, as I said, here I read quite a, quite a bit. So here, in this situation, what do you think? Yeah, well, we already know that bot is pretty strong nowadays. <laughs> but let's say, if you were black, how are you going to continue here? And the first thing I want to ask is still, what are the big groups on the board? You know this shape? What are the V groups on the board at the moment? What are the V groups? Yeah, we are in the middle game. This is normally the first thing we should figure out. You think that's the biggest? Is L8 the biggest V group? I think M5 is bigger. Profile said L18 and M5. Okay, that's correct. But uh, I think M5 is clearly bigger, right? <laughs> just, yeah, just to make. Okay, but uh, here, when we say those big groups, I for the bottom, this big group, uh, I don't think black can easily attack it. So, uh, currently, we should put, put our focus on the top side. The question is, what are you going to do for the black top side group? Hmm. You have any idea? Or you just want me to the bot brilliant plan? P18? Uh, I'm not sure. P18 doesn't look like a good plan. Because if you play P18, I know what you want. You wouldn't get any forcing move like this. Or you wouldn't get any useful for them. L15, okay. I see L15, L14, K14. Okay, if this happens, I am the triangle. Continue, please. This is a variation I read.
So, I'll try the K16. Yeah, okay, I get it. Okay. Well, this is a very I read. I block it. As you probably want to say your card, card, Atari, Atari, connect like this. But if like this, it's not what just a character here. Black is alive, but I guess what is happy for this point, right? Because black is just alive, but also is pretty strong. That also indirectly helps for the yeah, just a uh, long to answer that. Uh, I, I don't know. What war? Yeah. Yeah, but okay. I will actually see another variation. How me K13. K13, no B. K12. Well, K12, we are. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, yeah, let's say in this, in the game, actually, I read K12, actually, I'm gonna honey. Sorry, yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, sorry, but we are, but we are. Yeah, but actually, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, you're very not completely right. Yeah, if one does this, no, to black this one, is sunny, and then black can honey, and then came out here to capture one and win by one liberty. So here, yeah, let's say, uh, yeah, sorry, yeah, this is my bad. Yeah, my reading was in the game, honey. Yeah, just to make sure here with these stones there, black cannot really, black J18. Uh, so you just want to live on the top side. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't block at age 18. Block at age 18 is suicidal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, the thing is, when you do like this, I don't think I'm block, I just lobby. So I'm going to leave by putting there on the second one. Yeah, because the only way I already see black has a more comfortable, you know, comfortable, uh, comfortable way to live. But what doesn't care? Here, a black group can live. Once white take off the directly, it is good to white. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, but here I'm gonna show the board plan. Okay. Yeah, because the board plan is brilliant. Here, black we know that in the game, black plays the deal. connect, push, cut. This actually happened, and I did play the ambi triangle. And I saw Black was gonna save his. And in the game, he chose to attack here and attach. Yeah, that's actually what happened in the game. And in the game, I believe I read it here because this one, if he attacks, he block here, I go to me. I read it, I kill, I will kill Black. So to me, everything is fine. But in the game, he didn't do that. He just connect here. And actually, I didn't understand Black. Initially, I need to actually capture him by taking away liberties. And now he gave me space. So I decided I'm going to jump here. I'm going to capture him. Yeah. So uh, then Black pool. Okay, this shape might look scary. But uh, okay, I hope you notice. If Black Atari, throw in. Black cannot Atari next. Black cannot attack next. So on the top side, there's no liberty for white. Okay, I'm gonna show that. Okay, yeah, just a moment. Yeah, I'm gonna show that. And uh, yeah, in the game, I'm pretty surprised that the board just did this. The board just push, high, and here I will answer your question. Does this one work? This is your question, right? Well, it does. Because I just push, honey, I'm gonna try. In the game, he played the game, at that time, actually, at that time, I already know what is going on. Can you see what Black is doing? Let me tell you this. Yeah, this way, it doesn't work. Or you ask L12, L12 doesn't work. Yeah, there's no way you can see it. 
original again, he plays this way. Yeah, this is again. And let me tell you this. Yeah, black is building a wall for what? For what? That's the point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, if you don't know, I will first, okay, yeah, can, and I will show, just to show you what happened in the game. Yeah, and in the game here, okay, I already know his intention, but uh, let's say as well, uh, but doesn't have a choice, but has to take care of the center group, so I put here, and I have to take care of that, and here my plan is, well, you may capture my entire bottom, but I'm not going to only capture your top side, that's six stones. I will also capture the top right. That is big enough for me to compensate, right? But in the game, he doesn't push and cut. Pretty simple. I cut, he run, I push, he brought here to let me cut. And he loaded. Did you see all the way what he's doing? <laughs> he's all the way gathering stones against the white. And yeah, because on the top side, he's, he left himself four liberties. So that has to keep adding stones. Yeah, so this is actually his, he could have saved the top side group easily. He intentionally tried to let it go, to get more liberty and in order to get stones in the center. And so after this one, yeah, in the game, I chose to actually just to capture the, yeah, his, his, the, the, his that group. Uh, sorry, um, yeah, so in the game, Black take this liberty, so his outside is so strong, and I have to take liberty. Let's move, he came. Did you see that earlier we say, we don't know how to attack by this bottom group. This moment, I guess we all know how to attack this group. Actually, this is no, no longer. One doesn't even have one, one line. About a possibly safe. And you may actually have a question. I guess you may say, well, I also captured quite much, isn't it? Yeah, you also feel that way, right? Well, I also captured a lot. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna show you a little bit more because, the, let's say, here. So to make sure black only captures the ball. So in the game, my shoulder here and a jump. So to limit him. And now no, he shows sword. <laughs> yeah, so uh, in the game, it goes like, um, yeah, I forgot a little bit. So here, here he shows all this one and I attack his shape. Otherwise he can Yeah, and uh, after I jump, black takes this liberty, and I just cut. I say, okay, no, I play. Yeah, that's not a problem. So I cut here, and uh, his base push this one and cut. I'm forced to capture this one here. Tire. You can see like this. I captured all, the, but the black has taken this use. Yes, it? So I only capture stone on the right side. I don't have territory. And the next move is still his. And then let's say he make this exchange. And come back. Yeah, so now white totally lost. Because white has captured the black, you may say three groups, but all those, they are only stones. There. And the black has captured the white bottom. Look at it. Yeah, besides on stones, how many how, how many around there there is? So here, okay, I still want to come back to the origin. Uh, we the block here. Yeah, I have read in the game. I as my reading like this. black and leave. It is good to me. Or I can kill black. Actually, on both my reading was <laughs> yeah. So the bullet basically told me my reading is, but it doesn't, matter. it doesn't matter. I can capture him, and he's willing to let it die. But he will gonna actually build the walls to attack the 
to a toilet like bone group. Here I'm just saying that when we say group goes first here, yeah, in the middle game, that is a problem. And you can see here, this is actually a my bot. Your bot doesn't really know the, pro the proverb, but the bot is actually doing exactly that. He is doing exactly that. And here, actually, do you remember at the start, I asked you the question, what are the V group? And which one is speaker? Now, I guess that question makes perfect sense. Okay, yeah, I guess, uh, I, I hope you have entertained this example a little bit, and then I will and so this is our last inter entertainment before we finish and the last entertainment this is actually from my own yeah so black has just played this as you can see here on the right side of black some sort of big model right and why uh, those two stones cannot just die there so that is our direct direct we already know that is our direction. Question, what to do? As you can see here, there is the black here. Uh, on this one, on this one, there is a huge gap. But uh, yeah, there's nothing good for what to do directly. Okay, I will show you actually what has happened in the game directly if you want it, because this is just our entertainment, okay? So in the game, I play this attachment. So to, yeah, to try to get some fussy moves. And Black plays Nobby because on the right side, the gap is already too. So he's trying to fix the gap so to limit my fussy moves. And in the game, I first play this uh, this class, making this exchange. This is actually a crucial. And then I push back. Black actually doesn't understand what I'm doing. So Black player plays the Honey. I honey and he cut. Okay, this is actually the real question here. But actually, I showed you from in the game. I actually read it at the moment when I played that attachment. I'd kill it, I'd kill it. I already know, yeah, this situation is coming. So, here, let's say what, why the should this is important. It looks scary, right? Does this look scary to you? As white, if you are white. Oh, okay, you know that is my plan. My plan is to capture Q, uh, yeah, is to ca capture O6. Yeah, my plan is to capture O6 in order to save my group, but you need to know how. <laughs> it's not easy. Yeah, so uh, in the game, I play this cut. And then I turn from here. And then run. Okay, you can see I'm directly aiming at the right side. If I get, for example, I say the black four stone is directly captured, or the two stone is. So the black is forced to do this. So to maintain his connection. Okay, yeah, this is the last part of our entertainment. Can anyone see what we should do next? What well, next one move? Oh, hey, mm, that's too ordinary. <laughs> no, you need something better than that. Mm, that break card, N7. That is better, but not good. Yeah, okay, somebody showed the answer. Yeah, this is the answer. Yeah, after this move, either it's a, uh, those two stones at the own 11, those two stones will be levered, or the other two stone will, the other two stone will be captured because black cannot handle both shouted of labor. I still remember in this game my opponent after I played this move, my opponent was sitting there thinking for half an hour and he didn't really yeah, he has no idea what he should do. <laughs> so yeah, in the game, uh yeah, so yeah, uh, this is actually the variation has happened in the game, and uh, yeah, this is actually already a very difficult position for white. Uh, sorry, for yeah, for for black here. And so uh, after white has to play this, uh, 
So in the game, black has a turret. Uh, and the white capture red. And in the game, black push. Here. White connect, you can see, actually white wouldn't give a single. And uh, so now I hope you may notice uh, here, when this honey happens, you may notice earlier why I made this exchange. Because that stone is actually crucial for me to those two stones in this chain. Yeah, so after that it is, yeah, Atari, connect, yeah, so this happened in the game. Connect, connect. So, well, I settled his group by capturing black two stones in the center, black mole is completely gone. Yeah, so let's come back, say, let's say to the question situation. You know, where I'm gonna play? In general, where you're gonna play? Remember, that's only a stop. Please, after that, don't easily tell yourself, that's somewhere there. Please be responsible. Make specific. You need to know what exactly you, you're gonna do. Or at least read a few moves ahead to see a pick and tell yourself is that a positive or negative before playing any move. Remember, this is yeah, normally when we say when it comes to the middle game, when it refers to group, when it refers to attack and defense, that is an art. An art requires specific. That is basically what I want to tell about how to play on the right direction in complicated situations. I hope you have enjoyed this and all my examples and also in the OSR festival yet yeah, today and also in the following. But I guess so for today, okay, we are already half an hour over time. Let's just finish here, okay? Yeah, thank you, and uh, hopefully talk to you again soon. Bye.